The topic for today's video is logic micro operations. Firstly, let us see what all operations are included in the logic micro operations. There are operations such as or, nor, nand, xor, and many more. In these logic micro operations, basically, the bits of the registers are considered separately and are treated as binary variables considered separately as binary variables what does that mean let us consider an example p r1 r2 What does this expression represent? This expression represent the XOR gate exclusive or micro operation to be performed between two registers R1 and R2 and the result to be stored in R1 with a controlled variable P. The controlled variable P says that if the value of P will be 1, this operation will be performed else it will not be performed. Now, representing it this, we can write this as R1, R2 and the result in R1. Now, let us take an example having R1 value to be 1010 and R2 value to be 1100. And now, performing the XOR micro operation between the two registers, we will get the result 0110 by saying considered every bit separately as binary variable means that this XOR micro operation is performed individually among the two bits of these registers. Now, what are the uses of logic micro operations? These logic micro operations can be used for bit manipulations, for making decisions, and other various applications that we are going to discuss further in this video. Now the next important thing about logic micro operations is the hardware implementation. For this we need to understand that there are 16 logic micro operations as a whole but out of these 16 we only use four micro operations commonly that is and or xor that is exclusive or and the complement now for hardware implementation that is for making making the logic circuit for logic micro operations we need a 4 cross 1 multiplexer to understand the fact that why do we need 4 cross 1 multiplexers, the reason is that because we are considering only the 4 commonly used micro operations, we only need 4 inputs and out of these 4 micro operations, one will be selected and given as output. There will be 2 select lines, S1, S0, for selecting one of these 4 operations to be performed. Again. We have two operands AI and BI. First micro operation that will be performed between the two can be AND. Second can be OR. Next can be XOR. And the last can be the complement. Zero, one, two, three. These are the four inputs. Out of these four, select lines will select any one of them and that one will be enabled. Now, firstly, what is this I representing in both A and B? Basically, if we consider A and B to be N bit registers and as we say, hence the 
diagram must be repeated n times for i starting from 0 to n minus 1. For every individual bit, this diagram will be repeated. Hence, we are writing a i and b i and the result will give on every individual bit, therefore e i. To further step on, we can draw the two table for this. Again, S1, S0, which can be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. On the select line basis, we get the output that is EI and the operation that will be performed on the basis of EI. For 0, 0, that is the 0th position, we performed AND, therefore it will be A and B. For second, we used OR, therefore A or B. This is represented as AND, this as OR. For 1, 0, that is the third input, we said XOR. Therefore, it will be represented as this. And last is the complement, that is A complement, and this is the complement value. This was the main theory about hardware implementation of the logic microoperations. Thank you.